Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Habao Hyper VS2. As you can see, I got the body back from Tim and it looks wicked. I love the green. I love the purple. I like that little bit of black in there. Definitely gives it a nice bright look. Like we're going to get outside, we're going to be able to see this thing for miles. I've got the paddles on because I'm going to head up to my work and see what it's like up there. It's been kind of mild. So I am going to bring somewhere around here, uh, right there the Jetco buggy tires, but I thought I better bring the buggy tires, the paddle tires, sorry, just in case, uh, just if we happen to get up there and the parking lot is still kind of yucky. So we'll see, but man, guys, I, this just looks wicked. So happy with how this turned out. I've also got the clear body for the Kronos XDR over there as well. But anyways, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack this thing up in the truck and we are gonna go run this buggy for the first time. <laughs>
right, guys, I went up there with zero expectations. I took a one eight scale buggy to a parking lot in the middle of winter on paddles, and I had an absolute blast. This thing was so much fun. I was not expecting that at all. The paddles definitely hooked up. There was just enough snow out there that it wasn't getting bogged down, but yet enough snow that I was getting traction and the paddles were able to work. I was so shocked at how much fun I had up there. The buggy itself was amazing. It is so fast. Even when I was trying to take like, you know, um, longer passes, you could still hear the paddles spinning. You could still, you know, the buggy was still fighting for traction type thing. So I cannot wait till I can actually get this thing out. And not like what I did the other day, guys, where I was on the street and it was still cold. And it was still icy. I mean, like, wait till the spring hits and I can actually put, you know, a set of grippier tires back on it and take this thing out and start giving it a couple of passes because this thing is insanely fast. Uh, I was shocked, guys, by just how well it handled. Um, the fact that even while I was out there, guys, and today was a better day. It wasn't super cold. It was about minus six, but I'm not going to lie. When I kind of slid into the tire, I was worried because I've done that before in the winter and I have broke things. So I was super impressed that that uh, didn't end my day. But yeah, you know what, guys? That was an absolute blast. It I couldn't have asked for a better time. And I was actually, again, guys, I was extremely shocked by how much fun I was having because, hey, let's face it, taking a 1-8 scale buggy to a parking lot doesn't really sound like the recipe for a great time. And what actually happened, guys, at the end of the video was my GoPro died. The battery does not like the cold, and in general, the battery is just not very good in, in the Hero 8s. Uh, but I still, guys, drove around for probably about another four or five minutes after that. So that 4,000 pack, this one right here, this guy probably got me a good 15 minutes, uh, probably more actually, 15 to 20 minutes of runtime, guys, on a 4006S uh, 95C pack. So you can tell the battery had tons of power and I still got a good amount of runtime out of it. So I was really, really impressed with that. And I've got a second one of those. So I definitely, the next time I go out or if I was going out with my son and he was recording with my iPhone or something like that, I definitely bring both batteries because that was a lot of fun. You can see in the beginning when I'm kind of getting my wheelies and stuff like that before I got all the snow packed in there. Uh, once the snow gets packed in, it gets pretty heavy as well as the fact that what happens is it kind of melts a little bit because of the heat from the motor and probably a little bit of the heat from the battery. It starts to melt and then freeze and I think it even probably ends up being a little bit heavier. But overall, guys, that was so much fun. I am beyond impressed. Uh, let's just put it this way, guys. The... Um, TLR Typhon has a lot to live up to now because this thing right out of the box was insane. This was so much fun. And the paddles guys did a really good job. I like these paddles because you can kind of see here, they're not uh, like a hard paddle. So they they do a really good job of scooping up the snow, but yet I did find they handled pretty well for being a paddle tire. But anyways, guys, you know what? I'm not going to rattle on any longer. That was a lot of fun. I'm just going to leave you guys with that. And as always, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, Hit the notifications bell and have a great night.